Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Stranger Cats, and today we're going to be playing Sims but Cass. So I am feeling better than I was in the last video, which I kind of explained what was going on, why I disappeared for a while. You might notice that the camera is in a different position than it has been, and I hope this works better. But since I am still recovering, I do want to continue on with these kind of more chill, relaxing games, and I've just been in a sims mood lately like i really 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 want to just do a sims gameplay series honestly i've had that in that idea in my head since i started this channel so i don't know if you guys would like to see a gameplay series make sure you like this video and comment down below telling me your ideas for what i should do on it but uh, yeah, today I thought I would create Sim Me, and I thought I would create two of my cats. I'd create Oreo and Simone, which maybe I'll have pictures of them up here. I don't know, depends if I can find them. And time for the video. Uh, uh let's get into cats. So first thing I'm noticing is I'm the wrong gender. Let's fix that. I am a <clears throat> young adult. Uh, you, you can hear some sickness creeping back into my voice. Oh dear. <laughs> I think we're going to start with the skin tone. Probably not a good idea trying to look at the camera. Because I have a ring light that goes right around it. So I am slightly blinded. I don't know. I am blinded by this ring light. So it, it's making it really hard to compare. I think that right there is pretty close. Okay, so something I am definitely noticing is the face shape. Not right. It is not right. I am definitely rounded. It's weird. It's weird trying to create yourself as a sim. I don't feel like the face is too short. Let's pull you back down. Maybe not that far. Uh, maybe around there. Trying to look at myself here. <laughs> I, like, I don't know what to just. <laughs> I, I don't know what to just. Though my face is rounded, my chin is a little bit more obvious. So it's not like that. Maybe like that one, just a little bit out more. I feel like I need to scoot more than just the chin out. Let's see, there we go. There we go. Um, mm. <laughs> it's really hard to look. Maybe, maybe about there. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not my nose. Yeah, I think that was a little bit closer. A fun fact, I've never really liked my nose. And I, I've never liked it, but a lot of people said that they absolutely love my nose. Like, if someone's going to compliment my facial features, it's normally my nose. So, I don't know if I have a cute nose and for some reason I just hate it or <laughs> or what. Actually, now that I changed the nose a little bit, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see my side profile. I've been told I have a really nice side profile, but it's really hard for me to see it. <laughs> see, look at from the front. It looks like the face is pulled out really far. Okay, I think it's actually here that needs to be adjusted. Yeah, okay, that yeah, that looks better. I'm thinking maybe that one. It's not my nose. But I think that might be the closest I'm going to get. So if I go in the detailed mode, my nose is definitely more like that. Actually, maybe I have to go like this. Okay. You need to come out more, that's for certain. Okay, that's looking funny. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we'll just pull these out a little bit more. Um, she has a very weird looking nose. I don't know if I'm going to be happy with the nose anyway. Just trying to do it kind of like mine. I could be an elf. But no, no. We're trying to go with a more realistic look of me. That nose is not right and it's bothering me. But let me come back to it later. My eyes are very much so hooded. I, I think I got fairly rounded eyes. Definitely hood it. See, I'm seeing a lot of nice eyes and I'm like, I want that. My eye does not look that way. I'm thinking maybe we'll go with that one. Out of all the defaults, that's, that might be the closest, maybe. The thing about rounded eyes is like, 
it's so easy to make them look traumatized. They're like, oh no. Uh, so I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Uh, I do have brown eyes and I am missing so many of my colors. That is, that sucks. I think that is my eye right there. We could go with a more anime look, which I, I don't know. I had some eyes that I absolutely loved and they've completely disappeared. Like this was three times as big as it is now. So I think the update not only broke my no EA eyelashes, but it broke my eye colors too. Yay. Okay, now I got thin lips. Mm, that might be pretty close. Very thin lips, kind of a natural frown. But because of the way Sims look, it looks really weird when you try to like give a more natural. Uh, it depends which eyebrow you look at. On rather, I got a rounded eyelid, <laughs> eyebrow or a sharp eyebrow. They're cousins, not twins. <laughs> Does anyone even say that anymore? I used to hear that all the time when I was younger. Like when I was a kid, I would watch like all of these makeup tutorials. And I still had like these little <laughs> kid makeup kits. I uh, don't think that's right. I, I have very, very thin eyebrows. I have to wear just the eyebrow stuff that you put on. I have to wear that because if I don't, I don't have any eyebrows. I think that might be the closest to what I got. Okay, let's give her some skin details if we can. I would love to give her freckles. I don't naturally have freckles, so we won't put any of those on. Like this, this gives like pores and stuff. Like you can naturally see like your little pores. It's kind of like weird detailing around the eyes. I don't know. And now we need to pick out our eyelashes. Definitely don't have those. Definitely don't have those. Now that's what I want. It's not what I had though. If we can thicken out the top a little bit more, that'd be what we need. Not quite like that. Maybe like that. I feel like that's my natural eyelash. Okay, I want to add the blush. Uh, it does put some on the nose. That is probably very much so accurate to how pink my cheeks get. Wow, the girl's pale. But it is me, isn't it? Let's fix her body a little bit more. So let's do that real quick. <laughs> it's really hard to judge. But they don't really get rolls when they're fat. <laughs> they don't. Like, look at that. It's a flat stomach. It's just a little bit bigger than what you would typically see on a flat stomach. I'm also like not sure how much of Whoa, her body okay. shape I'm actually affecting. I am petite boned, so I am naturally very tiny, but then also I'm not in great shape, so I am a little bit bigger, unfortunately. Although people will swear left and right that I am not. I am. They just don't, some people don't understand the difference between thick boned people and petite boned people. Because you could be thick boned and skinny, but still be bigger than the petite person that's a little on the chubby side. I'm trying my best to be more like, <clears throat> look at her more accurately at like what I am. But that is so hard to do because <clears throat> my friend sees me thinner than I am. I probably see myself thicker than I am. Okay, I'm gonna say that's where I am. Does she have the shine CC on her? I think she might. We'll fix that in a minute. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna give her my hair. So we're gonna have to look for something that's got purple. That is too purple. That's not dark enough. Ooh, that's pretty. I've been told I'm really pretty with very light pink hair like that she does look good in it maybe i do look good in light pink hair i don't know what do you think <laughs> trying to find a purple that fits my hair is hard 
Oh, that's a pretty blue. I like that blue. That used to be my favorite color. Fun fact. Okay, that looks a lot like the pink that everyone's like. You look so pretty with that hair. I guess you should actually dye your hair that way. I'm not seeing any other pigtails. I know I got more. Unless they disappear too. I've done braids before. It might be easier just to do down hair. Like what my hair looks like if I don't put it up. Be easier to find something like that. I got a little bit of a wave in my hair, not a whole lot. More pigtails. I love that. That's really fun. Ooh. I like the ombre ones. And I wish it was more obvious on the colors which ones were ombres. Sometimes I can't tell. But... Because, like, that's long. That's not medium. That's long. It has shortened the list some. So I'm, af I'm also, like, afraid some of the medium stuff is being cut out because... The buns are cute. My hair would not do buns. It would not stay. That one's a pretty good one. What colors we got? Ooh, that's really pretty. I love that. But not my hair. I might have to do more... Maybe a blue? Maybe I could try a blue. See, I think that's closer to what my hair looks like than a purple. Because the purples tend to be, like, actually purple. And this is more of a very dark purple it is a little bit messy but then again my hair is often very messy Ooh, look at the red oh that kind of works because it got like the darker roots although it does come like way more like down here and then it goes into the purple but that's kind of more similar to what i got but she's got bangs and i do not you might not notice, but I fixed the eyebrow color. I don't have a black eyebrows. I have brown. Duh. I'm kind of leaning towards this one. It's more of a burgundy. Not quite burgundy, but it is, it is purple, but it's got a bit more of a red tint to it. It is a little bit longer, but I do sometimes do braids. I mostly do pigtails, but I'm not seeing anything closer than this. I do like that hair color. I've actually considered switching ah. to that. What do you think? Should I? <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to find a purple that's right. That might be better. Maybe I should do that one instead of that. See, I like that this one is darker because my hair is darker, but then that one is more purple. I feel like that might be closer to the color, so I'm going to stick with that one. But if you guys think I should switch to the more burgundy color, make sure you let me know. And if there's any other hair thing that you're like, yeah, you should... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's right. That is what I need to do. That is... Mm, it's more burgundy than purple. But guys... How did I not see- I went through this list like so many times. How have I not seen that? Like, it's almost the right length. And then because this is more poofed out, rather than having our hair thicker or just like straight down. Because normally these sims have like thin hair. That's something that I notice with alpha hair is most of the time it's really thin. You can see her earrings. So we can put some in, which is fantastic. Um, that one is black with a bluish tint. A lot of times people think my hair is black. Actually, that kind of has a little bit of a purple tint to it. That's probably the closest we're going to get. Alright, yay, my favorite thing. Clothing. I like dresses. I really like dresses. Actually, but I do wear skirts the most, so maybe I should do a skirt. Let's pick a skirt and then we'll pick a top. So, skirts. I don't have anything like that. I do have a black skirt. That is just like that. I don't have that in the bag. It's just an elastic skirt. I just missed her legs. That might be the skirt to go just because that looks exactly like the black skirt I got. Let's find a top. I don't think they have my Sasuke shirt, which I like to wear when I wear my black skirt for some reason. 
because I like even when I'm dressing more casual, I like to wear my skirt. Whether my outfit is more dressy or casual, I do like to keep it tucked in. So like my Sasuke and my Zelda shirt, I always tuck in. Okay, that's kind of like what I've been doing a lot this winter is I will wear long sleeves and then I'll put like a little cami or something on top, but I'll keep wearing my skirt. I'll just wear knee high socks. Okay, that's kind of cute. See, I've been obsessed with my red top with a, my black skirt lately. Okay, that is totally what I wore when I went to visit, except for it being crop. I don't wear crop. But that is totally what I wore when I went up to Thanksgiving to see my family. That's cropped too. I don't wear cropped. I feel like I'm missing a lot of tops too. Maybe, let's see, what other top do I like wearing a lot? I would definitely wear that. That is so cute. I am now looking for a dress rather than uh, a top to go with the skirt because I have more dress options, which didn't used to be the case, but somehow that's how it is turned into. But I am a very dressy person. I love, love, love wearing dresses and skirts. So, oh, that is so pretty. It does have cutouts in the size, but we'll pretend they're there because I want to wear that so badly. It is so cute. I love that. I love that so much. Anything that's kind of like um, galaxy related, like the galaxy look, the, the colors, especially like the magenta and the blue and the purple, so pretty. And then you got stars and it's sparkly, I'm just gonna say. That is really cute. And I do actually have a dress that looks kind of like that top. I don't have the cutouts there. It does have cutouts in the back, but um, not on the sides. I'm sensitive about that area. <laughs> that I will wear under skirts. Despite that not being something that I have in my closet, it is something I would wear. So now we gotta find shoes and I don't think anything that's gonna work. See. Those are platforms. You see how thick they are on the bottom? That's what I have, but not as boots, but like that. They're more like that. That might be what I have to wear, actually. <laughs> that might just be the shoe I have to go with because I have shoes that are like that. The straps are crossed, but it is very much so like the Mary Jane kind of shoe, but they are platforms. I kind of like the platforms more than heels. One thing, it's better for your legs and your spine. I hang out with a lot of people that are very tall and I get picked on for being short, even though I am literally the average height, 5'4", average. But I get picked on for being short because I hang out with a, a lot of tall people. My eyelashes disappeared, oh no. That's the things disappeared. Yeah, I can't have the skin detail as well as the lashes. I think these were the lashes I had. I'm not positive though. Maybe we won't deal with the skin details then. Uh, cause I do want skin detail. I do want my, okay, no. I can have that skin detail. I might have to be pale here. Cause that is something I definitely accidentally did the first time I was working on her. Maybe that. Is that my skin tone? I think it's a little off, but I think, because especially with the rosacea, I do tend to look pinkish. It didn't, is you just can't see it. Maybe you can see the other kinds. I definitely have more pinky look. Okay, this one I could put on. Okay, actually I think that looks better. But uh, I do like to wear eyeliner. And something that I'm starting to do, I don't know how long I'll stick with it, is I'll do brown eyeliner. So it kind of, it's softer. And then I don't cover my whole eyelid. Main thing. It makes my eyelids, my eyes look smaller. It's something like that could work. Give her a little bit. Uh, the skin detail is so... <sighs> See, I like having skin details. But they sometimes don't work. 
with makeup and it's annoying. I, I can't put I can put the highlighter on here, which is great. Because I do wear highlighter a lot. I didn't put on as much today as I normally do. I am trying to do it lighter when I am on camera. Maybe not like the blue. Oh no! Some of the lips don't work. I often wear colors that are not the best for my that they don't look that great on me to be honest but it's hard to tell when to get a lipstick and then you want to use it up because you got it actually that that's really good and I do like wearing shiny it kind of depends sometimes I like matte sometimes I like shiny and then other times I want sparkles I don't know would I wear that I feel like her mouth is too wide her mouth her mouth has got to be too wide and I hate how much it kind of like rounds up those her mouth because oh how does it do that <laughs> it's just kind of like maybe I should try a different lip see I feel like all of them do that yeah I can't even fix that by trying to use one of the CC which is annoying. Just, I'm going to have to deal with the fact that it does that. Mm. If anyone has like any CC or anything or tips on how to get rid of the little curl up at the end, please let me know because that is rather annoying. I do generally like to have my sins kind of like a little bit of a smirk going. When you're trying to create yourself, which has more of a natural but like some people they naturally look smiley but very small and thin lips but maybe we'll stick with that color see i would wear hoops to did i miss them already like we got yeah that's pretty much the size of hoops that i generally wear it's a little bit bigger i'm not opposed to it but it is a bit bigger Okay, that's more accurate. Maybe we'll go with that one. I do sometimes go, go with gold, but most of the time I wear these, the silver ones. So now I want to look at the necklaces. Because I definitely wear necklaces all the time. You can, right now I got my Wonder Woman one on, but I normally wear my Naruto one. So that's simple. That is actually really cute. Now that heart right there, that's pretty much what I got on mine. I do like to wear layer my necklaces. I don't all the time. Okay, okay, here's my decision. I'm gonna go with a moon. I do want some more stars and moon jewelry, but it's so hard to find good ones that are really cute. A lot of the stuff is more zodiac and I'm not into that stuff. Now, do I still have my, I used to have CC that would put like a bunch oh no 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 that one puts on a bunch of rings oh wow that's some big rings in that one hand her eyelashes are messed up okay okay oh no they're both messing it up never mind okay what okay those are some rings but they mess them up on her eyes too i hate that rings will mess up with eyelashes now sometimes you can change that by I, I hate that rings and eyelashes don't work together a lot of times. So annoying. Okay, we'll just forget the rings. Uh, maybe I can do fingernails. After Christmas, I probably will go back to the purple. Because I was having... I did have purple nails until uh, the Christmas season. And then I just kind of got more in a, a red mood. I do really like the red, but I will go with purple. Wow, her thumbs look weird. Is that the skin details? If only I could put it on the other hand, because when I layer bracelets like that, I do that on both. Ooh. I can't put it on the other one either. Oh, that puts it on both. Okay, there's one on the left hand. Let's put this one back on the right hand. And there we go, layered bracelets. Ooh. So, um, my aspiration may be, would it be under fortune? No. Master actress. See, I love 
acting on stage and I kind of want to be a stage actress. So I think that's the aspiration I should go with. And definitely a perfectionist. That's something that she can't get away from. Yes. <laughs> I like to think I am loyal. So maybe we should give her the loyal trait. And should I give her cheerful? Because I feel like... I feel like that is very much so me. I do love books and I love music. But I feel like cheerful might be the one to go for. Oh, big now, I will be right back as I make more. All right, guys, so here's the rest of her looks. We got, you know, obviously the one that we worked on together. And then we got this one. And then here's her formal look. We got two athletic wears. One that's a little bit warmer, one's a little bit cooler. Because if we actually do play her in game, uh, weather will be a thing. And I don't want her to. There's her summer sleepwear and her winter sleepwear. Maybe I should kind of give her a little bit more a few options. I might do that off camera. I don't know. We'll see. And then here's one party outfit and here's another. And then we got swimwear. And then here's our summer look. I do wear a lot of black. So especially skirt wise. I am working on getting some colored skirts, but right now all I have is black. Um, and I only did one for this one for some reason. And I forgot my earrings too. Ugh. Well, there's one winter outfit and there's another. Ooh. I actually have a top almost exactly like that. That is our sim. That is me. Uh, as close as I could do it, some of y'all could probably do better. Especially if you got better con uh, custom content. But, and then some of you are probably just better at it. Mm -hmm. Really. I'm not really good at this but i want to go ahead and make the cats so let's do that all right so the first one i want to start off with is actually oreo um he is a big boy he is which unfortunately sims cannot pick up his height unless i make him a dog but he's a cat so i don't know okay that probably does look more like him so we're going to go with that I think we're going to have better luck with the Maine Coon. So we're going to stick with the Maine Coon. It's definitely affectionate. Very much so affectionate. He is extremely friendly. Yeah, those are probably the best traits that we can give him. So why is that coming? Probably because of my five column mod. I am a little annoying, but... Okay, he's definitely got yellow, yellow eyes. He does have big eyes, but they're not like bug eyes. I feel like I go bigger than that, bug eyes. His nose, maybe not quite so. There we go. That looks better. He definitely has a pink nose and it's super cute. Pink mode, that's what we're gonna have to do. Cause he's black and white. Be close and don't move. Okay, it comes up like that. It kind of goes like that. It does come around here. And you come under his eye and it kind of goes around like that. And oh, this is going to be black. Now all throughout his back he is black. He's pretty much just white underneath and then black on the back. And his tail is definitely all black. Maybe if he does that. And now he actually does that all the time because he loves to have belly rubs and I just painted his foot. He's definitely starting to look more like Oreo. I think this leg is actually pretty dark. I'm going to try to look at the pictures, but it's really, really hard to tell. Could you just lift your tail a little bit? That'd be great. <laughs> okay, actually, I think that's pretty close. So now we just need to edit a few little details. Like he definitely has a tail. It's not quite that fluffy. But it's not giving me another option because of the breed I chose. Okay, that looks more like him. Let's go back and fix some of the paint. 
But there we go. I think we got pretty close to what my cat looks like. We might need to try and alter the face a little bit. So let's see if I can get a better picture here. I think. So what kind of ear tights do we got? It's not that big. That's probably what we're going to have. It's kind of like that little bit of tuff, which he doesn't have. He's definitely got long whiskers. All our cats do, honestly. Yeah, I'll do the more gray ones because these kind of like look almost blue, which is a bit odd. I do wish we can kind of bring out the fur more, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem like I can. But with his long hair, all of them on his face kind of goes like in this direction. He's not as cute as my baby Oreo, but... He is definitely cute. As good as we're going to get him, I think that's as good as we're going to get him. So we're going to have to name him Oreo. Strange. And now we're going to do my other cat, Simone. So let's start off with Simone. Strange. And then she is not a mate. Main Coon. I can tell you that. I don't know what she is. We did have our suspicions that she was part Siamese. So she could be a Burmese of some kind. Or or an Amese. So the weird thing about Simone is when she was a kitten, she was born solid white. And then as she got a little bit older, uh, her just like a Siamese, her face had turned dark, her ears had turned dark, her feet and her tail has all turned a very dark brown. As she got older and started spending more time in the sun. But then she started kind of like this cat right here is where she's got a little bit, her white is starting to turn more dark. Uh, and then over time she turned into this. Assuming I have a picture of her. She's a little bit on the fat side, but she is petite. So I'm not really positive what breed we should put her down as. I'm going to have to paint her anyway because her pattern is so different. Like it's not like a clear pattern like this calico right here. Yeah, she's so much tinier than this. So maybe I'll use this, this one as a base. The ring light's reflecting off of her. Ah, okay, so this is the main picture I'm going to be using of Simone. So she actually does kind of look like she's looking out like that rather than straight like most cats. But she does have more of a bright blue eye. She is spoiled. She is talkative and she is very much so territorial. Maybe I should call it more of a mix. We're just going to use that breed as a basis to start her off on. She's not as dark as black, but she is pretty dark. Okay, maybe I can go all the way down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's still actually not as dark as her. It does immediately turn into black, so we're just going to have to settle for this color. She's got a white spot right here. And she actually has a white spot on her chest somewhere one right about there and then if we look at the top of her head which is really hard to do but if we come here she does have one probably like that Let's see we got a definite orange color right around here not that kind of orange still not that kind of orange Maybe if we just kind of do it more like that. And we make it a little bit lighter. Kind of work on her chest area. I am actually having a lot of fun with this more so than I thought I would. I thought it'd be kind of aggravated with all the little details, but I am having fun with this. Is she looking like my cat? Maybe, maybe if you think more cartoony. You think rather than trying to think realistic just think cartoony because i'm not going to get each individual strand but i can get like some basic features like she definitely has like a little bit of more cream color and a white white spot 
So she actually has a darker nose than that, but I can't give her anything darker than what she's got. So again, I'm going to do that same gray. Not quite that short, but more like that of ears. I think I'm pretty much done with her color. Am I going to want to tweak it later in the future? If I want to use her, probably. Um, but I think for a more cartoony look, this is fine. Her coat is so complex that I'd be here for a very, very long time if I tried to completely make her coat and yeah. So I just, I just think this is pretty much it. I do think uh, I got like her main features, which yeah, she's got the white spot on her head and then the few white spots that are on her face and in her chest. I do really want to tweak her some more, but I, I've been at this for a while, so I probably just need to calm down. Okay, yeah, that works. <laughs> just like, hmm. This kind of look. Hers definitely tend to stay rounded, but yeah, she definitely looks kind of like annoyed. I don't, I don't want to stop. I want to keep giving her the details that I know just to kind of, because it is very cartoony and it doesn't really do justice to her. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. That's it. We're done. Okay, we're done. I think, I think I did all right, but again, it's really hard because I'm comparing the image that is right there right next to you guys so <laughs> i like her and i'm definitely willing to play her i think out of the two cats i did so much better with oreo but is that really fair when oreo is a whole lot simpler when i look at this cat it definitely looks like oreo my cat so i'm happy with that and then if it weren't for the white spots and a little bit of orange, it wouldn't look like Simone. It just wouldn't. And I wouldn't recognize this cat as her. But because I did do those key features, it's enough. It's not really as chubby as her, but I mean, there's only so much you can do to make a cat chubby. That's today's cast challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually had a lot of fun. This took a very long time to make, but it was a lot of fun. I don't normally get to just relax and cast. If you guys are still here, you clearly like something about the video, whether it's me or the video itself or everything or there's something, there's something. Anyway, like the video because you're still here and let me know that. And subscribe to the channel because you, you probably like me if you're still here. So, yeah. And subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Yeah, I'd be happy to play this, make some characters and stuff. And yeah, I'd be happy to do that. So just let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see. Let me know which one of these three i know the cats are more likely to win because i'm just a human why are you going to pick a human when you can pick an animal thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and don't be a stranger because i'll see you later bye